What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 worst WWE wrestler entrance themes in 2022. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we can all agree on this. The older themes from like the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era, those themes for wrestlers were they just were better. They were better composed, better bands. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I, I definitely used to love the older wrestler themes. It just they just fit the wrestler better nowadays they're kind of generic they're not as good there are some good ones and then a lot of times you really get like kind of just the most generic ones and you know, you'd be like ah this could be better you know what i'm saying y'all already know what my favorite one is slow chemical uh for kane's theme when he just decided to go mega rogue on monday night raw that period that slow chemical i y'all know that's my favorite wrestler thing one of my favorite wrestler things i just love that song so we're gonna check this one out should be a good one man appreciate all the love and support we're almost at 70k almost we're right there hopefully we can hit 70k before the uh end of february um so I i'm looking forward to that and also before i get into this video congratulations to the la rams out there for winning this year's super bowl that was a fantastic game i enjoyed it it wasn't a blowout it was competitive that's all i asked for in a good super bowl i enjoyed the halftime shout out to you la ram fans and uh hey man cincinnati fans you guys did your thing there's no reason to you know hang your head down low you guys play the hell of a game y'all just need an offensive line for joe burrow that's all y'all need that's all y'all need to do in the draft is worry about offensive linemen that's it don't worry about nothing else and i think y'all can make it back to the super bowl relatively soon so uh but yeah i just wanted to talk about that real quick now let's get back to some wrestling let's do this thing man yes! <laughs> i didn't know this was his song one of the main criticisms in relation to current WWE is that the theme songs are downright awful. Yes. Most of these theme songs for the WWE superstars seem to be lazily produced and mm -hmm. most of them sound incredibly generic. Uh -huh. In fact, we wouldn't be surprised if they were just getting them straight from YouTube's royalty-free library. Now, although there are a few surprised. exceptions to this, notably Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley's theme, the rest- I will say, Roman Reigns' final boss-esque theme was great. That was one of the, that's a, that's actually a solid one. His theme fits his character. He comes off as the ultimate final boss in the video game, and you're probably gonna lose. Simple as that. You ain't got enough potions. You ain't got enough heals. You ain't got enough whatever you usually have in your RPG game. You ain't got enough of it. You're probably gonna lose, and you're gonna have a tough time beating him. But I love his theme though. The rest of the themes on the roster have severely dipped in quality. Well, which ones are they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the worst themes in WWE currently. Y'all go subscribe to WrestleMania if he hasn't. Uh, if you haven't, he makes dope wrestling videos. Be sure videos. to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Sami Zayn, This Is It. Now, Sami Zayn's Worlds Apart theme was the perfect theme song for him. Mm -hmm. Although it suited his babyface persona more than his heel persona, this didn't take away from the fact that it became synonymous with Zayn. And for whatever reason, WWE decided to change his theme song to a song titled This Is It. For Zayn's new theme, WWE decided to keep the intro from Worlds Apart, but this fades out after a few seconds. What follows is then a few minutes of generic beats that failed to stand out or leave <laughs> a lasting beats. impression. <laughs> Yeah. The theme song feels soulless, and it's yeah. obvious that Zayn struggles to vibe with the beat as he makes his entrance. Fan criticism has been common whenever the theme song plays, but WWE appears to be insistent on keeping the lackluster song. I, I get it, because his other theme song is more of a face type thing, like, oh, 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 oh let's go, like... The crowd would get into that, but he's a heel. And it's kind of the same thing with, if you guys remember Bobby Roode, man, the glorious theme song, that shit was getting over. And apparently I don't have enough footage left in my camera. I don't know why. Hold on, y'all. That's that's actually quite weird. Hold on. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how I don't have enough space in this memory card. I'm, I'm quite perplexed. But uh, like I was saying, the Bobby Roode theme song, um, 
and it was getting over with the fans, but he was a heel or whatnot. And it's just one of those type of things where even if they're a heel, I think you should keep make sure the theme song always stands true. Because whether they're a heel or a face, the crowd is just going to rock with it. If it's, a, it's just, just something catchy, the crowd's going to vibe with it. So that's just what it is, you know? Number nine, Baron Corbin, The Good Life. When a WWE superstar changes gimmicks, it's common for them to receive a brand new theme song. This was the case when Baron Corbin debuted the Happy Corbin character a number of months ago. Corbin's last theme, I Bring the Darkness, was popular with fans as it, it was, was dark, mysterious and had strong lyrics, but the same can't be said about Corbin's most recent theme. Uh -oh. There's a reason that Corbin's happy. He went from the uh, bottom of the barrel. The theme song is titled A Good Life and the intro features the sound of a slot machine before a bizarre techno sounding song plays. Well, the issue with this song is that it really doesn't fit Corbin and it appears as if WWE have just given Corbin a random song without thinking much about it. Yeah, Number sounds eight, about right. Austin Theory, Sound the Alarm. Now it's clear that WWE have major plans for Austin Theory. He was involved in TV segments with Vince McMahon and has had featured matches with the likes of Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles. Now, if WWE wants Theory to be a top star in the company, they're going to need to urgently work on his terrible theme song. His theme song <laughs> is titled Sound the Alarm, and it's so unmemorable that it simply doesn't positively stand out against any other theme song. Now, the main issue with the theme is that it instantly goes into a mediocre rap with lines such as... It's such an un... That is cringe. I almost actually exploded from the amount of cringe off those rhymes. Oh my god. Ugh, cringe. Remarkable theme that needs to be changed with I want y'all to understand this is a multi million, damn near billion dollar company. And they can't provide better songs than what the fuck we just heard. Alright. Immediate effect. Number seven, Ricochet, oh, one and only let's, remix. Let's not get into Ricochet's Ricochet. one and only theme song was one of the best theme songs on the main roster. So naturally, WWE decided to change it. Sounds it's unknown right. why they changed it, but the theme song they changed it to couldn't have been any worse. They decided to keep the classic one and only intro, but then it fades out into this generic beat with random lyrics such as, hey, it's about to go down thrown in there. One and only. Fans were quick to rightly criticize the new theme when it debuted on television at the start of 2022. <sighs> Poor fans claim that WWE have officially given Ricochet a job of theme song. Yep. Number six, T-Bar, right. shut him down. <sighs> Our fans in all likelihood may not be overly familiar with T-Bar's theme due to how it frequently appears on television. Nevertheless, his theme song is truly one of the worst on the roster. It's titled Shut Him Down and it basically is a rap track which really doesn't fit with his character. The lyrics in the theme include, call yourself the realist, but you're not, call yourself the realist, get dropped, now let's rock, we're a million strong and we're coming to get you. Uh, this is just another example of WWE Cringe. allocating a superstar a random theme song without logically thinking it through whether it suits their character or not. So Number cringe. 5, The Dirty Dogs, here to show the world remix. Adolf Ziggler and Bobby Roode have two of the most iconic yep. theme songs ever. However, when W I was just talking about it, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Dolph Ziggler's theme song, even though they never really gave him the the substantial push that we all wanted from him, he got a mini push. His theme song, it fits his character, and Bobby Roode's was glorious. <laughs> That's all the I got to say. decided to put them together as a tag team combination. These theme songs became obsolete, and they decided to debut a brand new theme for the popular duo. The intro for their theme song keeps the We're Here to Show the World intro from Ziggler's theme, but this has been changed to a different singer. And then this fades out into a lackluster beat. Nope. The song is flat and lifeless. Yes. There have been calls from WWE fans to do something exciting with the theme, but sadly, these calls have never been answered. Of course. Back in a 2021 interview, former NXT champion Bobby Roode revealed that when he and Ziggler were paired up, he wanted to drop his theme song in favor of a new tag team exclusive song. 
Surely this isn't what he had in mind. Uh, yeah. Number four, Dewdrop. Nah, Aye, up? does it. Oh, when no. Dewdrop was given her brand new persona oh, for her main roster to run, she revealed in a number of interviews that she didn't get what her character was until she heard the theme song. This was her initial theme song, We Fly, and shortly after this revelation from Dewdrop, WWE decided to change her theme song. Her latest theme is titled I Does It, but fans certainly don't. The song is without a doubt one of the most cringeworthy songs on the roster and the lyrics speak for themselves. It's a terrible theme song that doesn't tell the fans no. anything meaningful about Dewdrop's character or no. what she's supposed to represent. Oh my god. Number three, Carmella, she's bad. Oh my god. The WWE <laughs> <abused> <laughs> They're just getting so songs worse. For Carmella during a main roster run. Two of these, those being Fabulous and Tradisi, received widespread praise from fans. They were well produced and certainly aligned well with whatever Carmella's character was at the time. Carmella's most recent theme title, She's Bad, is without a doubt the worst theme she's ever had. The song is just a lazily produced rap with generic lyrics which fail to get the crowd excited. Number two, right. Liv Morgan, Nana. Nah, nah. And Liv Morgan, has Liv been Morgan is a fan favorite, man. Y'all love it. Y'all love some Liv Morgan. And I, I do too. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope she at some point gets a title, title, title reign under her. You know, but we will see how that They're happens. Heavily pushed on television over the past 12 months or so. And all of these plans haven't led to a title run. Morgan has attained a great popularity that continues to grow. The issue with Morgan's presentation is that she's had a terrible theme song that seems to change virtually every week. Damn. Her current theme is titled Nana -Na and features a sweet melody followed by a beat that sounds like it's from a video game soundtrack. <laughs> Hard to argue with Bianca's confidence and logic. Liv Morgan is another woman who's been clamoring for an opportunity. Super generic. The two things don't go together and the theme ultimately fails to present Morgan in the manner it should. As was mentioned, WWE continues to edit the theme song. In fact, there have been a number of versions of it, each seemingly worse than the one that came before <laughs> it. If WWE wants Morgan to become a top star in the company, they're going to need to urgently work on creating a meaningful and memorable theme for her. Fact. And number one, Shayna Baszler, Loyalty is Everything Remix. Shayna Baszler's initial WWE theme song was perfect in every way. It was, bro. Her, her initial theme song, especially in NXT, it fit her. Nothing, nothing cringe. Just it come off. It came off as a badass. Like yo, this is this woman will probably send you to the hospital very quickly. So it, it just came off. It worked. Way it was a perfect match for her persona, and she even managed to adapt her entrance walk to suit the beat of the song. It had certainly become a fan favorite over the yeah. past few years, but this was before WWE decided to change it. Of course. In early 2022, they decided to debut a brand new theme song for Shayna, which sounds like a royalty-free track that WWE have just downloaded online. There is Shayna Baszler. Blowing kisses to Kansas. No. The song is underwhelming and no. is rather unmemorable. No. In fact, when Shayna entered the 2022 Women's Rumble, fans had no clue who was entering the match due to how generic and flat the theme song was. <laughs> Hopefully, WWE listens to fan criticism and reverts the theme song back to the original track. Yeah, the original track definitely it worked. <laughs> I'm just be honest with you. I, and I said this at the beginning of the video. It's like, it's like they're so. I don't get it. I. I don't get it. They have all this money. They don't want to pay people royalties. They, yo, it, theme songs matter. Theme songs are what makes the wrestler, like, completes the whole package of a wrestler. If it's generic and boring, you're not going to really care. It's not going to hit as much. So it's like, if you want that wrestler to really, truly be over, you know, you want to give them a, a solid theme song that works for them. Yeah, that fits their character some people are able to overcome their generic theme songs it's a rare occasion and then some people aren't you know what i'm saying it, it just you hear that theme song oh this guy is a jobber definitely a jobber you got the generic theme song going on or the cringe raps definitely a jobber definitely doesn't look like someone is gonna win a title anytime soon so but comment down below let me know what is actually y'all favorite theme wrestler theme song as of today like from the current roster we have and we're talking about wwe AEW, uh impact wherever who has the best theme song right now that's wrestling 
today. I want to hear y'all uh, y'all y'all picks down below. Appreciate all love and support. Road to Sandy K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.